Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of your September from the 16th to the 30th. Uh, we are going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys uh, regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified when new videos post onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there is someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright guys, uh, over energies for Gemini. What is surrounding Gemini regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their September from the 16th to 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Gemini. Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing here for you and your person, perhaps? All right, let's see. All right, we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So either you're this king or perhaps this queen here. Um, so place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. The roles could be flipped or reverse. So you guys could have those placements in your chart. Um, Cancer, Pisces energy with the moon. We have the Tower here, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. You have the Knight of Cups, more water energy here. So um, Gemini, you might have a lot of water in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone that has a lot of water in their chart. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I'm feeling like things could be changing. I feel like things could be moving to the next level uh, in your relationship here. Commitment, marriage, children, Ace of Wands. So I feel like at one point, maybe this person has been keeping this idea to themselves and they haven't been speaking on it. And perhaps now someone here is ready to take the next step, move on to the next level in this relationship here. Yeah, because something is changing really quickly. Um, I feel like someone here is, is not going to see this coming. Someone is not going to expect it. Because maybe this king has told this queen, oh, you know what, I'm not really ready for a relationship or something like that. Or like, you know, I don't see marriage. But I feel like someone here is maybe changing their mind and has been keeping this secret to themselves for quite a while. Um, let's see, why is this king of cups here? Why is this king of cups here? So feel free to place yourself where you see fit. Apply this to your own unique situation here, uh, Gemini. Either you're this King of Cups or this uh, Queen of Wands. Why is this King of Cups here? All right, here, King of Cups and the Two of Swords. So I feel like someone here was keeping this to themselves for a while. Why is this moon card here? Perhaps for a long time while you were dealing with this person, maybe this person was confused about what they wanted in the relationship. We have the moon here and the two of pentacles. So this is telling me that this person was having trouble deciding or is having trouble deciding still. But I feel like they're going to decide on taking things to the next level here with you. Tell me about the tower, the ace of swords. So I feel like they're going to, I feel like they're making a decision to take things to the next level here. Why is this a Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups, ooh, looking good, Cancer. Cancer, maybe you're dealing with the Cancer here with the King of Cups, but um, Gemini, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So you guys are gonna be moving to the next level of commitment here. I feel like you've been dealing with this person for a very long time with the Six of Cups. Perhaps you guys have broken up in the past a few times and gotten back together. Maybe you guys have a past life soulmate, uh, 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 past life together, a soul tie. Why is this uh, Ace of Wands here? Wow. 
Ten of Pentacles two times. I'm feeling like there is marriage here, for sure. You guys are taking things to the next level. So you could be feeling this, Gemini, or you're dealing with someone that's feeling this. Like I said, you could feel free to switch the roles if you want and apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, tell me about um, Gemini's person. What are their current true feelings and intentions towards Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of January. Second half of January, oh my god. Second half of September from the 16th to the 30th. What does Gemini need to know about their person here? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Their intentions and feelings. Could be dealing with a soulmate here. I mean, we have the two of cups here. We also we also have the six of cups that we saw too. So okay, wow. Ten of Pentacles, thirty Pentacles here. We have Fool, Aries of Energy. Also could be Aquarius too. We have the two of cups. We have the two of cups showing up again. We have the Tower. So this is going to be pretty unexpected here. Because I feel like someone has been with this person that was unsure, but... Wow, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups. Alright. And the Seven of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Seven of Swords here. Let's see what else we have. It seems like we have someone here that's ready to take a leap. I feel like there is some major changes coming. But I do feel like someone here might get a bit cold, a bit of cold feet, or someone here might be a bit surprised, like I said, because I feel like someone here has been dealing with someone that basically has has had, you know, has sort of has been undecided whether they want this relationship or not. But it seems like this person does. They've been hiding it for a while. They haven't been speaking on it. Maybe this person has yet to tell you how they truly, truly, truly feel, which I feel like this person loves you. I feel like you love the other person too because we do have the two of cups here. Uh, why is this full here? could have been childhood friends or something like that or like high school sweethearts or something like that because i feel like you guys have known each other for a while why is this fool card here the fool in the three of cups i mean someone here is wanting to come together and sort of like celebrate this occasion here uh why is this two of cups here i feel like someone here might be surprised i feel like someone here might feel like they're getting punks but they're not Two of Cups, Temperance. I feel like your guides and your angels are bringing this together. Why is this tower here? Ta oh my god. You guys, we have 40 pentacles here. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords and the Chariot. So, you know, someone here could have been stuck in their head in regards to this situation for a while, wondering if this is ever going to move forward. But yes, it is moving forward. Why is this Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So we have the King to the Queen of Cups here. We have a true pair. We have a true pair here. This is a strong soulmate connection. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Four of Swords. We have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You know, I'm feeling like with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords and the Queen of Cups here, I feel like someone here feels like they're getting punks, but they're not. I mean, things are moving forward here. Things are moving forward. Maybe someone, like I, like I said, maybe like we have someone here that maybe have walked away from the situation because we had someone that was unsure and the, you guys kept coming back together, walking away, coming back together. Um, so I do feel like now things are moving forward, uh, Gemini. I mean, we have 40 pentacles here. We have the four, uh, 10 of pentacles here four times. Um... All right, let's see. I'm 
feeling like a proposal. Someone's ready to take things to the next level here. It's a long time coming. Outcome and advice here for Gemini regarding this love situation that they are in. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September from the 16th to the 30th. Six of Wands. That looks good. We have the Tower again. Like I said, I feel like for some of you, for someone here, or for the both of you, this might have been, this is very, very, very unexpected. I mean, look at that. The Tower, the Star, and the Six of uh, Cups here. So I feel like someone here has been waiting for this to happen, and I feel like it's happening. Uh, we do have the Six of Wands here. So someone here has seen, you know, where victory and success lies. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Hermit here, Virgo Energy. We have the Five of Wands. So, you know, Gemini, I feel like there are going to be people here that's not going to agree with this. Oh my God. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but uh, I feel like you're not going to care. Both of these are not going to care. I feel like some, I feel like there are going to be people that are going to be a bit surprised and that, you know, they're going to be against it because I feel like they're going to say something along the lines of, you know, this has gone on for so long, you know, you guys have been, you know, on and off, like, are you sure? Um, so, yeah, I mean, we have four, uh, we have the Four, like the, the Ten of Pentacles here four times, and then we have the Ten of Cups. Um, I feel like you're going to be met with some people that are not going to be okay with it, but you're just going to be like, I don't care. Uh, why is this uh, Six of Wands here? So um, just place yourself where you see fit, Gemini. Either you're this Queen or this King or Empress. I mean, this Empress could be a parent here, but maybe this is someone that's going to get in the way because they don't agree because... Oh my god. Ten of Pentacles again. I usually flip this deck, so we'll see what we end up with. Why is the Six of Wands here? Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? The Seven of Pentacles. Why is this Hermit here? The Hermit and the Knight of Pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Why is this Five of Wands here? Ace of Swords. You know, I feel like someone here is, I, I feel like there's going to be a group of people that are not going to be okay with, with, be okay with it, and they might try and separate you guys. These are someone, these are the individuals that are very immature, that's like just not very enlightened. Maybe, you know, this was meant to happen, you know, kind of going with the process of separating, coming back together, separating, coming back together. I feel like in a way, you know, maybe this built, you know, made your relationship even stronger. Uh, but I just feel like there are going to be some people that are not going to agree with it. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Ten of Cups and the Moon. Why is this Page of Cups here? And the Knight of Cups. So we have someone coming in that's going to offer some sort of commitment here. I think a marriage proposal or something like that. Someone here is ready to take things to the next level. But I feel like there are going to be people talking into your ear, making you second guess this, perhaps. Because I, I feel like we have these younger energies or these outside energies that I feel like you do know that gonna, that's going to come in and make you sort of reevaluate the whole situation. But I do feel like there is going to be forward movement here between you and your person. Yeah, I feel like your person is going to drop a huge bombshell and I feel like you're going to feel like, Oh my god, are you punking me? But uh, no, I feel like this person is really truly genuine about wanting to uh, take things to the next level here with you, Gemini. But they're, they're going to be like jealous bitches that are going to get in the way and say, Oh my god, no, like, you know, this has gone on, like, you guys had a history of this, and, you know. But I feel like it's going to work out pretty well. I mean, we have the f Ten of Pentacles four times. Just to stress that, I mean, that is, I mean, this is a really good reading, uh, Gemini, and um, um, and I hope this resonated. If it did, 
leave a comment in the comment section below, share this video with someone, like this video. Also, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.